All right, welcome back to GMA3, everybody. Dr. Ashton uh, setting us up for this segment by saying there's a study here having to do with um, the, the impact of jaw dropping. Is pretty good. It's actually below the monitors on these teenagers and then found that when they were subjected to higher levels of air pollution, usually benign, they're not dangerous. Other cardiovascular well-being basically with a regular heart rate. Yeah, it was temporary, but I think this is going to open up not just effects on our lungs, but on our... It isn't temporary. Yeah. You're, you're in that pollution That's or that right. lower air That's quality. That's right. Not a sweeping yeah. recommendation yet, but we'll be hearing more about it in the future. Thank you, Doc. We're right back, folks. One way you can do that, it's there on your screen, redcross.org slash ABC. Of course, they need your uh, help in every way possible. This is a catastrophic storm that has done so much damage, and uh, we're still waiting to get the numbers on loss of life, but um, people are anticipating it to be a very difficult number. And like I said, with Red Cross there, we talk about donations, but as Dr. Ashton was saying earlier, blood donations, yeah. not just financial, but blood donations can help no matter where you are in the country. Yeah, that's right. All right, we're going to turn now to wearable health technology, and it's allowing people now to monitor their health in real time with potentially life-saving information at their fingertips. And we're talking heart health, sleep quality. How on this for more is Dr. Sumbal Desai, Apple's Vice President of Health. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I I'm finally <laughs> able to track reproduction health I've said ground truth to make sure that that is an accurate notification full cycle deviations and so what that means is cycle data and notify you so you can do something about it and that's obviously accuracy being important but also privacy yeah. and there are privacy concerns extra more so than normal with the Roe v Wade being overturned a lot of women feel like if they if they put this data into their watch and it's out there that they could be subject to some sort of scrutiny. There are real concerns among people simply cannot access your health data. And the user is in complete control of who. Uh, <laughs> no one wants no. to know that. All right, Dr. Desai, thank you so much thank for being you with for us. Thank you for having me. A man known for taking life. <laughs> Welcome back to GMA3. He's known for his daring stunts uh, and wild pranks, helping to launch his career to superstardom. Now he's in the studio and he's taking some time <laughs> off his stand up to this. Percent. And he might have actually learned. You, you get real and honest about your battles with fame and addiction. Big Was time. Was any of that hard to write? Did that feel cathartic? Yeah, it, you know, it was so much work. And then we delivered the original manuscript to the publisher. A number of months went by. Went yes, out. the least we could do is say the name it's of his... Welcome back to GMA3. We're back now with the Sanderson sisters from Disney's pop culture phenomenon, Hocus Pocus. They have finally returned, and they're brewing up more trouble, of course. It's highly anticipated sequel, Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> Hocus Pocus 2, that's right. <laughs> our own Deborah Roberts sat down with the stars of the film. Take a look. <laughs> and our thanks to Deborah Roberts for that. The witches take flight tomorrow when Hocus Pocus 2 begins streaming on Disney+. And that's what you need to know for this Friday Eve. I'm Amy Robach. And I'm TJ Holmes. For Dr. Ashton, all of us here at ABC News. Everybody have a good Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.